school has teamed up with Nolan's for Fish Fry Fridays throughout the season of Lent. Please be sure to check out the bulletin for the details. As always, thank you for supporting our parish school and local businesses. It is important that we keep the worship spaces safe and clean for our parishioners, visitors, and staff. We ask that you please consider helping by wiping the pews after Mass today. Supplies can be found in the majority hall entrance to church. Thank you. Presiding over our liturgy today is Father Michael. Or, excuse me, Father Clifford. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. God, through his grace, gathers us around his altar of praise to give thanks on this second Sunday of Lent. Let us acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram 
caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ring and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obey my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. And his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach, bleach them. 
Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. Shortly after his appointment as the Archbishop of Westminster in 1976, the year I was born, so I couldn't forget, Cardinal Hume had to face the press and to answer some questions from them. And they wanted specifically to know the number one thing he would do, his number one task. And his answer to them was simple. I want to do all in my power to convince people that God loves them. A very unexpected but a magnificent answer if you ask me. There is nothing, no truth, in fact, that is size than this truth that God has revealed to us. That God loves us dearly. That God loves me. I don't have to do anything to persuade or to cajole God. God loves me already. He loves me just as I am. And no one can do anything about that. This message echoes throughout our readings of today. St. Paul points to the most convincing proof of God's love for us. That God so loved us that he will not spare his only begotten son, but for our sake, handed him over to suffering and death so that by his death we might have everlasting life. This is what St. Paul seems to be saying to us. His words are to the effect that why can people not believe that God loves them? He who did not spare anything, not even his son. Why or what would God not give in addition to his beloved son for our sake? Let us be honest. Sometimes we doubt God's love for us. If we are so convinced, then the assurances from God's word today would not be necessary. But convinced of God's love, Abraham was willing 
to give his most priceless, if you like, asset in the person of his only son, Isaac, heir to him. But when we go through challenges as human beings, when we come face to face with our own weaknesses, when our faith in God is hugely challenged by circumstances of life, sometimes we, we, we want to give up because we are at a loss of God's love for us. And what we need in such instances of our lives is what Jesus did to three of his disciples. We, we need a new perspective. Seeing things from God's own perspective. And so Jesus, with them, takes us to the mountain where he gives us a preview of that joy everlasting we shall share with him in heaven. One which was able to convince Peter so much so that, that he forgets himself that they were still here on earth. They had climbed a mountain and that they need to descend to face the realities of life. And he said, Jesus, it is good that we are here. Let us build three tents, <laughs> you know, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah, forgetting about the three of them. This is the joy we shall share. But we need first to embrace the love of God and be willing to suffer for the sake of Christ so that we shall inherit that joy that is laid bare for us in Christ Jesus. I want to end with uh, the words of St. Therese of the child Jesus. He says, There is one thing only to do here below, to love Jesus, to win souls for him, so that he may be loved. Let us seize with every opportunity of self-sacrifice. Let us refuse God nothing, for he so want our love. Amen. Shall we rise, professing our faith with the Apostles' Creed? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Loving God, you promised Abraham and Sarah many blessings. Confidently, we place our knees before you. Our response to these petitions is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that the truest selves, beloved daughters and sons of God, may be revealed more and more through our Lenten observances, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For local, national, and world leaders, that they make wise and prudent decisions for the good of the community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For military members and for all who assist us through difficult times, that God will renew them, give them strength, and guide their words and deeds, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all who are suffering, that God would give courage and strength to all who are experiencing difficult times, open job possibilities for the unemployed, and give peace to those who are grieving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all whose faith is weak, that like Abraham, God will renew our spirits and guide us in relying on God in all the areas, circumstances that are unclear, or in which we lack understanding of what we do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all recovering from winter storms, that God will protect them from harm, restore their utilities, and make available the resources they need, violence and race. Racism, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all with COVID-19 or any other illness or disease, for those bound by substance abuse or addiction, and for all that are impacted by violence, that God's healing love will relieve their pain, strengthen their minds and bodies, and restore them to full health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have requested our prayers, for those who have no one to pray for them, for the silent intentions that we hold in our hearts, and for all who have died, especially for Lucille Burrow, Tom Martino, William Campbell, John Romano, Eric Aubrey, and for Rockwell Katako, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, you sent your beloved Son to save us and lead us on the right path. Listen to our prayer we make through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this sacrifice, O oh Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show, even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so, with the powers of angels, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. God of hosts, having an earth full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them that they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Benedict, St. Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to be co earth to eternal life, who may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him with him, in him O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. So we say that. The 
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Thank you. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for coming. Please keep your kneelers down for those of us who can volunteer to help with the wiping. Have a glorious weekend and a week ahead. Thank you very much. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.